SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, in today's video, we do something a little bit different. We're not really speed testing. We're just checking throughput through a weak part of Verizon's network. I, I would call it weak. Uh, specifically, I actually targeted the Verizon network for this reason, uh, just to kind of evaluate where the network is today, how they got here, and what's going on with it. So this entire footage, which I've kicked up the speed, so that way you guys aren't here in this video for 20 minutes, uh, but basically, I, I, you know, did video for my entire commute to work. I chose a route that I feel is the worst macro cell spacing route I could take for this particular trip. You're going to see a lot of these speed tests on edge cell. And I'm looking for that connection resilience. I'm looking for, you know, the distance between Verizon's 5G ultra wideband network connections. So think like N77 C band, the 3700 frequency. And you guys will see it at the top right-hand corner when it is connected. It'll say like 5G Plus or 5G W. Depends on the firmware I leave on there. But um, that's really what I wanted to check. You know, what are these coverage gaps like for data for Verizon in my market? Now, every market's different. And Verizon's got a characteristically really solid network in the urban part of the country. So if you go to big cities... Even in some suburban places, it's just a very dense network, and they've done it with a combination of macro cells and small cells. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Uh, you know, the previous process for networking for Verizon was always about calling, but the times have changed. You've got to be a data-focused, data-performance network now. And Verizon has made the adjustment. They, they really have come a long way. To upgrading their network, modernizing it, building new sites, specifically the small cell build in my market, right? Being that solution for filling of coverage gaps and also addressing the capacity needs. It's because it's just not good enough to have their old macro grid for calling, right? You just need more data throughput to serve your customers. So you'll take a take a look at some of these numbers at the end, but you know, these these tests where you see, you know, 76 down and one up, these are these are edge cell. Uh, but previously almost unusable. And, you know, I'm coming across probably about six or seven small cells on this 15-mile trip, and you've got a combination of those macros and those small cells working together to serve as the Verizon network, you know, the, the two ways that they deploy assets. So when you see a 5G ultra wideband test of like, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, you know, I'm, I'm closer to the cell site, but when you see speed tests that are like two and 300, maybe even 400 megabits, and the signal is strong, that's coming from a small cell, right? I could have took the main streets for this commute and shown you seven, 800, 900,000 megabits down off the macro grid with the 5G Ultra Wideband. But I specifically chose edge cell. I specifically chose the worst spacing I could find. I actually drove most of this trip through the wooded areas of the city, Lots of oak trees, really dense, right? People's properties and, and parks. You can't just put macro cells in residential areas, but I think Verizon has done a nice job to work with the cities to get small cells for those two purposes, capacity creation, and then also, you know, the coverage gaps, right? Filling it in, right? Where the macros can't go or they choose not to go in that direction, the small cells are carrying the mail. Now, you can't just... Uh, deploy one small cell here and there to truly address coverage needs you're going to need several and that's what they've done they've done a nice job here here's the speed test there uh shown to you guys a nice mix of edge cell and being near cell and all those different solutions there if you guys want to see another version of this video from at&t or t-mobile i can try to accomplish that same thing or if you wanted me to do like the main street route here for verizon to compare the differences i'll be sure to share that with you but we've got one heck of a range here of the testing hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching tell me what you want to see in the comments and i'll be sure to make those productions happen you guys are the best see you on the next one